Hey guys, MechanicCG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 50. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so today we're going to be taking part in the Class RGT Championship. Uh, we're going to be taking the Z33. Uh, I believe this is a Nissan 370Z. Um, but a race car version of it. Starting off with Maple Valley, moving on to Alpine Ring, back onto Maple Valley, Rio de Janeiro, Blue Mountain Raceway, New York, Laguna Seca, and finishing off with Nürburgring. Let's go. All right, so we are change of plan. We're taking the Volvo. Volvo is our whip now. So, fun times, innit? But the Volvo should do a strong job. So we do have eight races for this championship, which is... Whew, to put it lightly, whew, pretty, uh, pretty long. And I'm 100% not looking forward to it. to lap number two. We got 17 laps around here, so. Volvo's doing a pretty good job so far. Not too bad, not too bad, actually. Oh, gosh. Nope. Let's stay on the track. So this car's a little bit touchy at the rear. Whilst also simultaneously being prone to understeer. Which is not ideal in both circumstances, to be perfectly honest. Oh my god. How the hell did we manage to get around that corner? Is this Danny Bird? This is one hell of a heavy song for uh, Danny Bird. I need to save this song. It slaps. Not bad.
There we go. Good, good corner there. There we go. A slice of apple pie is $2.50 in Jamaica and $3 in the Bahamas. These are the pie rates of the Caribbean. Cheers for that one, Aaron. <laughs> Make it way to... Bang, bish, bash, bosh. Bish, bash, bish, bash, bosh. Bish, bash, bish, bash, bosh. Bish, bash, bish, bash, bosh. That's a hundred percent what these lyrics should be. Jesus Christ, these dad jokes. Oh, I did not want to change camera then. Much better. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. There we go. Not too bad. Seven minutes into the race. I need to open the blinds, probably. Get some uh, airflow into this room. Before it turns into a... I don't know. Sauna. I guess. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. And if not... Oh, bugger. It is now. Wow, just one word this time. Just bitch. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> that is brilliant. My doctor told me I was going deaf. The news was hard for me to hear. Oh my god, that's so bad. That is one of the worst dad jokes I've heard. Right, the next lap we're going to push for a fastest lap. Fair enough, fair enough. That makes sense. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love the design of this Volvo, the fact that it's like half white, half blue. It's a pretty neat design, actually. It is a shame, though, that Volvo... Um, I know Volvo still make cars. It's um, Saab that stopped making cars. How do we still not get fast as that? At what point am I slower? I'm still a little bit slow here. Alright, not bad. Again? What? I don't know, in all honesty. It's um it's up to you what kind of content that you wanna make. Obviously, as a baseline you need to make content you enjoy. So I enjoy playing Forza, that's why I'm doing the Forza thing. That's like a given. I'd say for you it it depends. It depends big time. It's eleven fifteen. Not too bad. I'll take my money. We'll go to the next one. All right, we're here at Alpine Ring now. Alpine Ring, whatever you want to call it. I love the look of this car. Nine laps around here is not bad at all. I do not mind. I don't know my fruits. Full playthroughs is probably your easiest and your most enjoyable option because when you get done with one thing, you can move on to something else. You're not l restricted to one game. Mm. I'd say you could do a full playthrough of... Um, I don't know. Obviously, I, I would say one, one of the better games to start off with is like a story-based game. Something like either Cyberpunk, Fallout, um, The Witcher. The Witcher would actually be quite a good one. Assassin's Creed, yeah. Those kind of games are pretty good to start out with. Man, lose. Let lose. Even the Far Cry games can be pretty fun. Maybe not as much Far Cry 6. That wasn't uh, as great. I can't even put a finger on why I didn't enjoy Far Cry 6 that much. Because that has the exact same recipe as the other games. It just wasn't as enjoyable. Oh great, I spun the car. 
Back underway. Let's keep it going. Ten episodes, five hours or less. Ooh. on the car twice now um 10 episodes or less in about five hours uh need for speed the run is one of the it's story based but it's a racing game uh that's only six hours or so but that's a game from about 10 11 years ago now um I don't know about that one actually. Any games that are shorter than that. Ah, Epic is first. Epic, how are you today? Long time no see. How you been, man? Yeah. Galdem, yeah, yeah, get the Galdem, get them, now, woo, woo, yeah, dab on, the haters, dab, 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 dab on, the haters, No, you will wag. Come on, we gotta keep the car on track, please. Never mind. I'm too busy focusing on chat. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> what about Mafia? One of the Mafia games. I know they're not quite five hours. They're about... Uh, Ma Mafia Definitive Edition is about seven hours. Um, which is close to your time frame anyways. That, for me, was an extremely enjoyable storyline. That could be well worth playing. Uh, yeah, Epic. Get yourself that VIP badge. I really enjoyed Mafia, actually. I, 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 that's my recommendation for you to do. And then if people enjoy that, you can move on to Mafia 2 and Mafia 3. Because Mafia 2's got a pretty good storyline, and Mafia 3 is just... Chef's kiss. <laughs> there goes Epic. He's got his VIP. Uh, I will get that sorted out for you after the stream. Uh, not after the stream, after this race. <laughs> Bear with. We've got three more laps left to go. I didn't actually have it where the bot could do it automatically, but I've undone it because I'm an idiot. So. Hmm. 
Never song. Never heard of it. So. <laughs> well, uh, you got to save up your channel points for the next subathon stream. Because that way you can add extra time to the stream for free. Free! Free is a magic number, in it, mate. <laughs> oh, free is for me. Oh, wow. I went way too aggressive there. <laughs> well, good thing you didn't, because I ain't got enough for uh, 300 drinks. Right, two more laps. <laughs> or you could do what Fallen did, agreed. It's going to be a good month still, till the next, um, subathon stream anyways. But we will be doing a 12-hour stream fairly soon, where we play through every single Forza game. Which, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, stay tuned, because it's going to be very soon after this video comes out that we'll be doing that. Boom, 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 boom. Half a year, that's crazy. Maybe some free games. Yeah, there's the option to give away for some free games as well. I think during the 12 hour one, we'll give away 12 games. And I think we'll set like a sub goal or a bit goal, something like that. And if we hit that goal during the stream, I'll give away a copy of Forza Horizon 5. So. It is. It's why Fallen is at the top of my stream right now. <laughs> You'll probably see him up there in a minute. There he is. <laughs> Not bad. And across the line. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Lovely. I will take that. All right, here we go. Maple Valley. Fair enough, Fallen. A bit. <laughs> I'm quite excited to do all the Forza games though, only because it's it's sort of like a journey. We get to experience all of the games in one sitting. Bing a bing. I think it was 
was 15k, wasn't it? I can go back and look. I do have a lot of fun with streaming, I will admit. But, um... What's it called? Can't remember what I was going to say. I was going to make a point. I completely forgot. <laughs> I know I've got to um, tidy up my setup completely. I'm like slowly getting it sorted. Um, but I've hit a brick wall where I can't do anything until I get my HDMI matrix. So until I order one of those, which again, I'm hoping I'll get it by the end of middle of June. So in about a month's time. Um... And that way I can sort everything out. Fallen, I would love to be able to earn 50,000 a year. fucking love this song. It's called Like a Bird by Danny Bird. We are shaking it into the ground. Come on, stay on track. Fair enough, Epic. Fair enough. <laughs> Fly like no one else. Sing to know your worth. Move to save yourself. We are one tonight. So fly like no one now. So sing to know your worth. Move to save yourself. We are one tonight. I fucking love this song. It's so good. It's actually a Forza song as well. So again, it's fairly in place with this game. We are shaking everything to the ground. Oh, 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 yeah. We are shaking everything to the ground. Yeah, that definitely counts as a job. Anything that you're working for is a job. It depends. So. There's, there's a very fine line between hobby, work, and job. 
Because technically speaking, a hobby, work can be either hobby or job. Job is where you're being paid to do something. Hobby is where you're, you do something sort of for free. You enjoy doing it. Something you choose to do. But again, that still can be a very fine line. Fly like no one else, so sing to know your worth. Move to save yourself, we are one tonight. I could vibe to this song for hours, like on loop, on repeat. iPhones aren't shit. I just think they're a lot more expensive than what they're worth. Same with Samsung Galaxies and stuff like that. Those phones are more expensive than what they're worth. They are a sim status symbol at the end of the day. It's like buying a tin of Heinz beans compared to a tin of beans from Aldi. They're exactly the same thing inside. Slight differences in their ingredients content. One is probably 90% of the quality of the other one. But also a third of the price. So. Well, duh. Because the APK is an Android package. iPhone is a good good phone. It's not terrible. The only thing is, it's not worth the money that it is. My phone that I have right now is on par with an iPhone 12. But the iPhone 12 has still been sold for like 700 quid in the UK. My phone costs 300. So there's obviously a price difference with Apple because it is Apple. I mean, you can tell the kind of company that Apple is based on the fact that they tried to sell a stand for a monitor for a thousand dollars. And what's even worse is always a thousand dollars in America. Well, guess what? It's still a thousand pounds in the UK. They didn't even bother with currency conversion for the UK version. Because if they did, then that stand would cost like 650, 700 pounds. But no, it still costs a thousand fucking pounds. Yeah, the old iPhones were pretty shit. The new ones are good. But there's a lot of features on the new iPhones that have been on Android for so long, which was why Android was good. And they've just copied it, but taken their time to copy it. So... My PC is the same cost as that Samsung Galaxy Fold. But my PC can do so much more. It's a PC, not a phone. Yeah, I, I get it, but... Still, the price of these phones is ridiculous for what they do. My PC is a grand and a half. So about 2,000 US dollars. <laughs> Not too bad. And across the line, 1048, I will take that. 
Save that replay just in case. We'll go on to the next race. Here we go. Rio. Yeah, prices are going quite high for tech stuff. So, um, the thing is, I'm looking at getting... So, he, here's the weird thing. I need a HDMI matrix for my setup. And I'm stuck between choosing. I can either buy... A single matrix for which goes um, takes four inputs and can put it out to two outputs for I think it was 55 pound which is not too bad at all but it doesn't do the amount of outputs I need so if I want to have two outputs I need to spend 180 quid on one which is just ridiculous but I will need it just because of the fact that I need at least three. Two for my monitors, one for my capture card. Um, Epic, there's no point upgrading the Quest 2. If, if I'm going to be honest, the Quest 2 is the best out there. For... Okay, it's not the best out there. But for the ease of use and what it has... It's probably, like, the best all-rounder. So, upgrade some stuff in your PC. Definitely. Can you, uh, is your PC VR compatible? Do you have, like, a 1660 or a 20 series or something? Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Mine does a pretty good job of uh, crunching numbers. Sixteen sixty super, yeah. So that should be good enough for VR. So, yeah, looking to get an either a RAM upgrade, CPU upgrade, something like that. Give your PC a little bit more of a kick. Oh, unbelievable. It's got eight gigabytes around. Yeah, good idea. So have a look at getting either sixteen or thirty two. Um, 16 is fairly cheap, actually, to get. To get uh, two sticks of 8 gigabyte RAM, I think is like 50 quid. Something like that. It's not too bad. I'm obviously looking at 32 gigs of RAM, so. Oh, obviously, you got to get that graphics card sorted out. Get a 3090 Ti in that biatch. <laughs> <laughs> biatch. Get yourself a 3090 in that biatch there. I'm obviously not going to upgrade any. My plan is to... I I've got some big plans. <laughs> big plans. So, obviously, June, get the HDMI matrix and sort out my entire setup so that it's much easier to deal with. Um, especially when it comes to, like, recording footage. Um. <laughs> I mean, you said the other day that was your bottleneck at the moment, so may as well eliminate the bottleneck, am I right? Um, but yeah, Matrix is my next thing, and then hopefully in about a year's time, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start saving up all of my Twitch stuff, and I'm going to upgrade the hell out of my PC, so I'm going to buy new motherboard with a new CPU, hopefully like a 12 core or a 16 core, something like that, um, and a new case as well. And a new power supply. And new RAM. 
So I'm basically going to end up buying new everything. Um, and then I'm going to put it in a new case. And use that as my main PC build. Oh yeah, it's impossible to eliminate bottlenecks. Because as soon as you upgrade your graphics card, your CPU is going to become your bottleneck. Or your memory or whatever. But at least if you know what the bottleneck is, you know that's your next thing to upgrade. Because whenever you have a bottleneck, there's no point upgrading something that isn't a bottleneck for you. Like, for me at the moment, obviously when it came to editing, my bottleneck was not my graphics card, it was my storage speed. So I had to buy an SSD. And now my bottleneck is my CPU for my editing. So if I want faster editing, faster CPU. The graphics card doesn't get used in DaVinci, so... Um, when it comes to streaming, well, I've got no bottlenecks except maybe the CPU a little bit. So... Oh no, you won't experience. Oh yeah, definitely. You won't experience problems with. Oh shit, that was not good. You won't experience problems with your PC. But uh, what you will notice is some things are a little bit slower. And especially with, for, for me. Uh, what's up, Sneaky? Welcome. How are you today? Um, especially for me. I like my stuff to... When it comes to like editing and stuff like that. I need it to be as smooth as possible. So, Because otherwise it, it affects your efficiency. So you end up wasting time on it. So that's time that can be spent on something else. Like... Sorting out graphics design or whatnot. Oh yeah, your PC's a beast. My PC's a beast as well. If if I'm gonna be honest, my PC is a beast. But I wouldn't mind upgrading those parts so that it's all built by me, technically then. Um the case needs to be sorted out, because this case is a bitch to deal with. If you so that's the thing, Unity uses a lot of RAM, so you'll probably have a you probably have a RAM bottleneck at the moment. Especially something like um VR chat. That is a bit of a RAM a greedy bitch for RAM, so Ah your ball bag. Oh yeah, obviously it's going to run pretty well. VR chat is the one that I cannot get to optimize very well on my PC. I got a 3060, but I struggle to get it to run stable 90 frames a second. VR chat just will not run stable. It will go anywhere from 40 to 60 to 80 to 100 and then back down to 40. It just it's crazy. No, you definitely don't have a RAM bottleneck falling. Pandy, welcome back to the chat. Woohoo! Oh, I hate this car so much. Uh, maybe it's not the car. Maybe it's the driver. I hate the driver too, let's be honest. Mana 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 mao. Mana 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 mao. Mao mao. Ah, oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give Epic his badge. He's bought the VIP. I've completely forgotten to give him the badge. Driver is definitely the problem. Agreed. 
Driver is always a problem. Oh, fair enough, Epic. My gearbox is bollocked. Come on, keep driving. There are birds currently flapping outside my window. I do like how, how this setup's coming along. There you go, 11.30. Not too bad. I will take it. Let's move on to the next one. Got uh, 40 points so far. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.